Okay, let's talk about percent. And what we're going to be doing in this video is a very basic percent skill. And when we're dealing with percent, there's a lot of little sub skills that you need to know. And one of them is how do you write a fraction as a percent? So you can see here I have a fraction 85 over 212. And I like to be able to write that as a percent. Please feel free to use your calculator. But if you know how to do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. And uh, then, of course, I'm going to show you the answer here in just one second. But percent is one of the most important practical math skills that you're going to want to understand. And to uh, really understand percent, you have to understand the various facets around percent. So here, we're just going to focus in on how to write a fraction as a percent. I'll talk about other things that you need to know about percent in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, you can be successful in math, and I'm especially speaking to those of you that struggle in mathematics or think that you are a bad math student. There is no such thing. To be successful in math, you really need great math instruction, okay? So if you have that and you're willing to work hard, you can progressively get better at math. And what I'm talking about is clear, understandable, and comprehensive math instruction. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, check out my Math Help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will make a huge impact on your ability to be successful in math. Also, if you are preparing for any sort of test with the math section, most of you out there are probably going to be taking a test like this. You don't even realize it. Any sort of entrance exam, placement exam, things like the SAT, ACT, GED, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, etc. Um, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have award-winning middle and high school math courses for homeschooling. You can check that out. Hopefully you have great math notes. If you do not, you need to work on improving your note taking. This is so important in math, but I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as this helps me out big time. Okay, so let's go ahead and see the answer here. 85 over 212, uh, that fraction is equal to what percent? Well, here it is. So 85 over 212 is equal to 40 point. Uh, 0.94%. Now you can kind of round this off. There's some additional decimal um, uh, places here, but we'll just call it 40.094%. So if you have an answer somewhere in this neck of the woods, then that is excellent. Matter of fact, I will give you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a few stars for being so awesome at converting fractions to percent. Now, this is only one skill that you need to be able to... Uh, understand when it comes to the topic of percent. I'm going to talk about others in a second, but we're just going to focus in on how to convert uh, a fraction to a percent or how to write a fraction to a percent. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this is done. All right, so the easiest way to do this is to simply divide the numerator of this fraction by the denominator. You could do this by hand, but that's just a, you know uh, unnecessary. If you're allowed to use a calculator, go ahead and use that calculator because that is a tool. But if we take 85 and divide it by 212, you're going to get the decimal 0 0.040094. And there's other decimals uh, in other places there. But we'll just go ahead and just keep these digits right here. So now what we've done is convert a fraction to a decimal. But we're not done yet. We need to get to a percent. So it's much easier to convert a decimal to a percent than it is a fraction, something like this. Go ahead and write this as a uh, decimal first. And now we're, we're going to go ahead and, and convert that decimal, 0. Uh, 0.40094, into a percent. And how do we do that? Super easy. Uh, basically, just multiply that decimal by 100. And that is equivalent um, to moving the decimal point two places to the right. So here, 0. 0.40094. If I move that decimal point two places to the right, it lands there. So I'm going to get 40.094%, and that is the answer. Okay, so again, if you weren't quite sure of uh, how to do this, hopefully this kind of clears things up. But let's talk about percent in terms of the other skills you need to know. So you need to uh, obviously be able to write a decimal as a percent. You have to be able to write a percent as a decimal. You need to be able to write a fraction as a decimal. Okay, that's something important, obviously. 
you need to be able to write a fraction as a percent a percent as a fraction so you can kind of see you're gonna to have to do the reverse of all this stuff and let's see what else here um, also a decimal as a fraction that's something good to know as well uh, you need to understand what is percent okay just the basic definition of percent uh, you need to be able to find the percent of a number so if I ask you what is this uh, six percent of 32 how do we write that well we have to convert that uh, percent to a decimal multiplied by 32 basic percent problems but then we have things that are more interesting like this four is uh, eight percent of what number okay so this is more interesting than this basic uh, percent problem so this is more challenging and a lot of uh, people kind of get stuck on these problems but you're going to have to kind of work your way up to this level of percent uh, problem solving but before you do that, make sure you understand this. And before you understand how to do a problem like this, you need to understand all of these other skills right here. So again, um, this particular video is focused in on how to write a fraction as a uh, percent, which we kind of made a pit stop as converting a fraction to a decimal and that decimal to a percent. And hopefully that helped you out. Again, when it comes to math, right, there's no such thing as a question that's just too simple. Okay, don't be like, oh my goodness, everybody should know this. I'm afraid to ask that question, or you know, you know, I should know this. Listen, when you don't know something, go go look it up. Okay, there's nothing uh, so basic in math that um, you know. Don't let your pride get in the way. Of like, I should know this. No, go look for your answers. Remember, math is this, uh, basically just a collection of skill sets. But if you don't, you know, uh, take the time to learn. Uh, all these various skill sets. You can't just learn math like, you know, um, leaving out certain skills. It doesn't work that way. You have to kind of build those skills up. It's like basically like a toolbox, okay? You just build up uh, skills one skill at a time. So focus on one thing. And that was the whole goal of this video is just to focus on this one little micro skill. And hopefully this video helped you out. If you need additional help with percent, I have a ton of uh, videos on my YouTube channel on percent. But uh, if you're more uh, looking at a more formal way to review basic math to include percent, I would suggest uh, two courses in my math help program, my math foundations course and my pre-algebra course. I also teach percent in my algebra one and algebra two courses as well. But those would be the two uh, courses I would direct you on. But again, I have a ton of other uh, percent videos on my YouTube channel. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.